In this quick video, we're gonna show you how to use some AI that's already embedded in Microsoft Excel to grab a snapshot of financial data from a website like Edgar, and then bring it over into an Excel environment so you can start to analyze it really quickly. We wanna go over here and click on this menu and then scroll down a little bit to get to the search pane. Right here in the search pane, we can put in Amazon, now what we're after is the latest annual report or 10K for the company. So let's click to expand this section right here and then click on February 3rd for the latest 10K. What we wanna do next is click over to this menu on the left-hand side and click right here, open as HTML, which opens up a third tab on our browser and this gives us a clean format to work with. Control minus and control equals will control the zoom level. And as you can see, we've landed on a zoom level of one 150%, which we find works very well for this situation. And down here, what we're looking for is item eight, financial statements. Let's click through to the financial statements, jumps us to this position. We can see the statement of cash flows. A little bit further to right here is the statement of operations, which is what we're looking for. What we want to do now is take a picture of these statements of operations using the snipping tool. The easiest way to get the snipping tool is to hit the Windows key and then type in S N I P for snip. Let's click right here for new, and then we're gonna select all the way across from the top right here, all the way down to this bottom left corner. And as soon as we let go, just like this, this has now been copied to the clipboard. We've loaded up a blank Excel file. We wanna go across to the data section of the ribbon and over here to get data. And then from other sources down near the bottom, we wanna say from picture, and we're gonna click right here on picture from clipboard. Now the artificial intelligence has essentially just happened. When we clicked that button, the computer went through the picture and tried to convert everything through to text and numbers. Let's go right here and say insert data and then click here, insert anyway. And all of the data gets inserted into Excel. Now, as you can see, we've gone ahead and cleaned up this data. It just made the formatting look a little bit better. But one of the things we have to do is validate the data. Quick little pro tip. One of the things we can do is highlight all the way down the left hand side here like this to highlight the labels and hit F7. That's going to bring up a spell check and it's telling us right here, spell check complete, you're good to go. But what about the numbers? One of the numbers that we can see that really jumps out is this one right here. You can see that the computer has made the mistake of putting in a decimal place in front of the number. But how would we find that if there were a lot of numbers to check? To find numbers like this is we could put a formula here equals this one plus one and hit enter and we get a value error. If we start copying that down, we can see that the error only comes up where we've got the issue. So we can pop into the cell, hit F2, and go to the beginning and just take out that decimal place and the error fixes itself. So obviously we would wanna check down through every single row and across all three columns. But for now, let's perform a slightly different check. To validate these numbers, let's go down here and actually insert a row like this. And then we're gonna make these numbers here blue, just like that. So effectively, we made these numbers blue since they're gonna be inputs, but the number down below here should be a formula. So let's look at the number, 386064. So we're gonna put in a sum function and grab the two numbers above, hit enter, and we can see the same number, 386064. So we know that that reconciles. So now we're just gonna simply do a copy here and go over here, and before we paste, let's look at the number. Watch the number carefully. As we paste, the number doesn't change. Go over here, paste, no change to the number. So we know that this is reconciling perfectly. Let's highlight across just like this, put in a nice little top border, and that's been done. So obviously we won't go all the way down through the income statement, but you definitely should if you're doing financial work. So in this video, the AI was so helpful in allowing us to effectively take a picture of an HTML file from the Edgar site and then convert it over into numbers and labels into Excel. We are able to get it in there fast, but we always need to make sure that it reconciles. We need to check our work because we're responsible for it. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you in the next one.